So our collection with the Met, this is actually our fifth introduction with them. We've done uh, a collection every six months, debuting at High Point since two years ago, the fall of 2021. Um, and, you know, people will say, what inspires you? And there's nothing more inspiring than a museum because you have 5,000 years of human history, you have art and artifacts from every place and culture and time. And so what's been hard is choosing what to do, not what not to do. So um, the way we design our entire line is that we just choose what we like. Sometimes there is a theme that emerges, sometimes there's a color palette, but a lot of times we just are like, oh, this feels right. This is something that I really get. So for the Met, what we do is we go through the collection, sometimes in person, sometimes through their archives, choose a few uh, pieces that we want to focus on, get their permission to use those specific pieces, and then we start design development. So that is, you know, basically first working on the fabrics um, and then the designs. And then we just kind of make sure that everyone, that we're hewing to the mission of the museum the whole time. So can you showcase for us a few uh, pieces or tell us how you brought pieces of art to life in linens and linens? Absolutely. So, there's a good range, I think, in our collection between what I would consider like one-to-one -one sorts of pieces where the design is very attached to it and ones where it's more interpretive. So for example, this pillow here is a wood, uh, it's a Winslow Homer pillow and we printed it on velvet because when you print on velvet, it's kind of the closest you can get to how oil painting looks, um, which I love. So that's, that's what I would call one-to-one -one design. Now. Another example would be, this is a fabric called Dowry, and this is based on a faience cup from the Egyptian Middle Kingdom. And it has this beautiful sort of OG pattern that you can see overall. And then we took the color palette of the piece and put it into the pattern. So um, this is more interpretive. This is based on an Italian glass piece called Retortoli. This is based on a Japanese bowl. Um, beautiful, beautiful bowl. This is based on a piece in the Islamic wing, a beautiful piece of Iznik pottery that comes from Turkey. This is also based on Turkish pottery. This is based on a Peruvian feather tunic, which are some of the coolest things I've ever seen. They're really little, they're about 12 by 12, and they're just really colorful tunics. This is one of, this is an introduction from Last Market. It was probably the most popular, and it's called Venezia. It's based on an actual room in the Met that's basically a recreation of a Venetian palace. Um, we have that in two colorways. This is based on a Peruvian caro, which is a, you know, a ceremonial pot. This is based on an Egyptian faience panel. What is really interesting is that um, you can have really ancient objects and the way that people interpret them, it gets very modern, no matter what you do. So like the Egyptian faience, for example, this is from something that's probably 4,000 years old, and, but it looks very modern. And that's a really nice lesson to see that thread carried through history.